Some problems we're going to see deal with uh, interest problems and maybe where we have two types of investments uh, based on uh, some simple interest ideas. Interest is basically a principal times a rate. Some principal amount times its rate tells us how much interest we'll get over a period of time. And this is a formula for simple interest. So my mom called me up the other day and said, okay, Willie, I got $50,000. that I need to invest. My options are is I have a 15% option and a 7% option. And what I need to have is I need to have $6,000 in interest, interest a year in order to meet my needs. All right, so how can we use systems to find out how much money to put into each of those different investment accounts? in order to get the yield that we're interested in. So we need to come up with two systems here, or two equations. What do we do? Well, let's start with the 50,000. We know that we're gonna put some money in one account and some money in another account. So in my 15% account, in my 7% account, I don't know. I'm gonna put X amount in it and I'll put Y amount in the seven in the seven percent one. X plus Y equals fifty thousand. So I have one equation all ready to go. X plus Y equals fifty thousand. Well, now we need to figure out another equation. Well, I know that if I put one amount into fifteen percent, so this would be like 0.15 in decimal form or 15%. And in the Y account, I'll put in 7% or 0 0.07. These combined, 0.15 times an amount and 0 0.07 times an amount, if I add those together, this is the interest from one account plus the interest from the other account, principal times rate, principal times rate equals interest, the interest equals 6,000. So then I have 0.15x plus 0.07y equals 6,000. 6, All right, we have two equations and two unknowns. Now we can solve. I'm going to be clever. And I'm going to scale the bottom one to remove the decimal points right there. And let's multiply the bottom one um, by 100. And then so doing, I have 15x. So x plus y equals 50,000. Bottom one becomes... 15x plus 7y equals 600,000. Want to multiply, I probably should multiply the top one by a negative seven since I want to add. And to do that, let's multiply the top one by a negative seven. So negative 7x minus 7y equals 350,000 minus 350,000. So all I've been doing so far is just modifying the system is to try to get a variable to eliminate. You doing it, and you started the problem before me, maybe you decided to eliminate the x's. Here, I just happen to eliminate the y's. Let's add these up. So I have 8x equals 250,000. Solve that for x. X equals 3,000 or 31,250. And remember that represented dollars and that represented the amount 
that I put into the account yielding 15%. So how much do I put into each account? I'm going to put 31,000 into the 15% account and in the 7% account. Well, I can just back substitute. I back substitute this into one of those equations. X plus Y equals 50,000. X was 31,250 plus Y equals 50,000. Y equals 18,750. Yep. And so that amount in dollar form is amount at the 7%. So those are the two amounts in this particular scenario that we will yield exactly $6,000. If we wanted to change and yield $7,000 or, or we had a, a different initial uh, principal, we could do that as well. But for this particular starting point, this provides the two amounts that we're looking for.